Hi everybody. Today we are discussing about a new sector. Welcome to Indian Aviation. Aviation sector is changing. Lacks of job opportunities are going to come in the aviation industry. With Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's announcement of 20 lakh crore rupees economic package. India is going to become global hub for aircraft MRO services. To airspace management, the next relates to PPP and uh, airports which are being given for uh, management and maintenance, then management. Uh, just to give you a background, uh, only about 60% of the Indian airspace is freely available. And uh, that's because uh, airspace is uh, fairly restricted for its use for civil purposes and defense purposes. This means that all these years, all these decades, we have been flying to some destin most destinations, not through the shortest route, but slightly longer routes, which means you're having more time in the air. Uh, this actually has to be um, rationalized. Optimum utilization of airspace is best because after all the fuel spent is also something which we import. Huge bill goes for that. Finally, the customer ends up paying more price for the flying. And for pilots, it's an extra hour of flying or half an hour of fire flying. Above all, if we are able to optimally utilize the airspace and reach quickly, every one of our time is saved. And therefore, now rationalization is going to happen. We will be able to get the, to our destination at the shortest possible time thus saving travel time, thus saving fuel, thus saving also air, uh, the, the pilot's uh, flying time. This is an environment-friendly step, but having very big implication on India's fuel import bill and also for civil aviation, which in India has biggest potential in growth. Civil aviation is up for a big leap. So the airspace availability through which the flying time is influenced is going to be better. That is one. The second that I'd like to tell you about is six more airports are for auction and uh, the Airport Authority of India shall do it on public-private basis, PPP basis. Additional investments also are likely to happen by private players in about 12 airports, which they are already holding uh, for better world-class facilities to be brought in. So majorly, airports in India will become far more uh, with better facility and customer experience. This has financial uh, implications to the extent, not so much for the Burr budget, but the AAI, the Airports Authority of India, will get a down payment of 2,300 crores. And also, the first and second rounds of investments are expected to get 13,000 crores. So this is one step which will, at a time, increase better facilities and also make our airports a lot more worthy experience. This, because it's all pertained together, pertain to civil aviation, is making India an MRO hub. This was mentioned also in the budget. Maintenance, repair and overhaul of air aircrafts is a big business. Most of the Indian aircrafts themselves go abroad to do their repair works, spend on parts there and also come back for uh, after the overall to India. But maintenance and repair and overall, India has all the capacities, manpower skills required, soft skills required and also India can then be the center for many of the flights which go towards Southeast Asia, long distance to Australia, similarly westwards also. If we make sure that MRO's ecosystem is created in India, for which the tax regime has already been altered so that it favors setting up MRO in India, this is a major step that we want to make sure that India benefits from. And in this, not just civil aircrafts, but also defense aircrafts can also be benefiting from the MRO, which if we make India as a huge hub.
maintenance maintenance cost for all airlines will come down and that again will have an ripple ripple effect on the passengers the travelers can probably pay less after that so these are three put together reforms for the civil aviation sector civil civil